them blue lines. Okay. Supervisor's car. So far, so good. Now, I think this building over here is empty. I didn't see not one parking. Uh, I didn't see a parking lot that was full or anything. But it's a government contract, and that's why I was going to going to uh, record them. Needs a new paint job. The hood is kind of messed up. The tires look pretty good. Just needs to be washed. Other than that, that's a pretty good vehicle. It's another police vehicle right here. I think all of them are. All three of them. All of them got lights in the front. All of them Ford except for this one. I don't see any thin blue line flags on them. So that's a good thing. No thin blue line, that's great. I have more acres, we had to sit there and tell them, the chief of police, to take that stuff off their cars. We don't want any racist cops. We got a little bit of paint damage right here at the door. Can you see that? Look like a uh, little bit of damage on that rest. I don't know if you can see it. It's right, right there. You see that damage on the armrest? They need to get that repaired.
big old tire hole. Post office right next door. Right next door. Oh look, we got a police car over here that's damaged. this hood open you see that oh that's why that's why you see how they treat our tax uh, money we pay our taxes and they take these cars and just ram them all over the place So why would they have damaged vehicles like this? Let's go ask them what they're going to do with these vehicles. We got a police vehicle over here that needs to have the, the words put back on their car. Got the back seat torn out. I don't know if you guys were able to see that. Look at this. Look at all this. This is ridiculous. Yeah, the back seat is tore up. No paint on this side. Let's go ask them and ask them to find out what they're going to do with these cars. Hello, ma'am. Is the chief of police in? Is there a deputy chief or somebody below him? Okay, what about any officers? I want to know what the uh, what they were going to do about these cars that were out there. Waiting on insurance, okay. Ma'am, I see over here you got Nate something as chief of police, but when I was here last time, I saw a white officer that was chief of police. That was the deputy chief of police? Mm -hmm. Okay, but this is the chief of police right here. Thank you. 
So that's who we're gonna contact tomorrow. On the phone with OU Police Department, calling the Chief of Police, Nat Tarver. Uh, we're down there videotaping and uh, saw two police cars that were kind of messed up, so. He's not in office right now. Okay, do you happen to know when he might return? No, I do not. He goes to all three campuses now, so I really don't know when he's going to be back. Okay, uh, what about the, the the one right underneath him, Deputy Chief? Yeah, hold on, let me see if he's available. Thank you very much. Like I said, I was down there yesterday videotaping the police cars, and there was two of them that were extremely damaged, front end, and so I'm thinking, hmm, let's find out what the chief of police has to say about everything, so... The chief of police wasn't in, so we are going to talk to the deputy chief, okay? Ma'am? Yes? I will transfer you. Hang on just a second. Thank you very much. She just called me, ma'am. Miss Terry. Hello, Deputy Chief. Um, I want to ask you. I was down there uh, uh, looking at your police cars the other day. Can you tell me the can Can you tell me uh, the story behind the two police cars that you have damaged in your parking lot? How they were damaged? Yes. In uh, traffic collisions. You. I, I was thinking it was a traffic collision, but uh, it was on OU property. Is that where the damage happened? Yeah. Okay. Well, did it require a police chase or anything like that? No. Okay. Can you tell me exactly what happened, please? It was, it was uh, one, one was uh, officer responding to a call and then, uh, had a collision, and the other one was uh, just... Uh, pulling out of a parking lot and had a collision. Because they, they look really, really severely damaged. That's why I was asking. Yeah. So do you happen to know the rate of speed they were traveling when they uh, had these collisions? One was about two miles an hour and the other one was uh, about 26 miles an hour. 26 miles per hour. Okay. Do you happen to know the drivers of each one of those vehicles? No, I'm not sure who was driving us. I haven't seen that report yet. Okay. Is it possible to get back in contact with you when you do get those reports? Or when you get the reports, can you send me an email? Would that be possible? Sure. Okay. Okay. On a, if you have a pen, I'll go ahead and give you my email address. Got it. All right. It is E L A S S A N. T E at gmail dot com. Okay. Say that again. E L A F S A N. What was the rest of it? T as in Thomas and E as in Edward at gmail dot com. So E is in Edward, Ellis and Lincoln. A is in Adam, F is in Frank, S is in Sam, A is in Nora. No, it's two S's, two S's. Two S's? Yeah, two, yes, E-L-A-S-S-A-N-T-E. Okay. E-L-A-S-S-A-N-T-E? Yes, that's correct. Yes, that is correct. Thank you very much. You bet. All right. Have a good day.